Hello my friends, John here. Um, welcome back. If you've been here before, if you're new, please subscribe. I'd love to see you again. Don't mind, uh, you might have heard us in the last video, the, the little sinus thing going on here, a little, little cold, so I'm all right. But um, Okay, so I'm looking forward to sharing this. Um, but two things that, that I was just thinking about over the last few hours. I've been meaning to do a, just a quick shout out to my friends in Africa. I got the impression that scattered throughout the continent, you know, that there's people that'll watch these videos. So thank you for being here. You're very welcome to be here. And you know, the other thing I want to do, I don't know if I got this specific before, but I really do want to thank the people that, that have sown and, and that do so a seed. And you know, I, I just feel like I want to say to somebody, believe me, when, when the day comes, and hopefully this is extremely soon that I give a testimony, you will see what, why it's so greatly appreciated. You will understand. And I just want to say, you know, thank you. It is greatly appreciated. And of course, anyone led to do so, the info's in the description box. And just like when I, when I post about the Lord blessing you according to Luke 6, 38, I, I think this might be important to somebody, but I do pray about this. And I believe in some cases, what you really want in terms of, you know, a, a little return on your seed, according to the gospel, is, is not, not money. For some people, and, and I prayed about this, it, it's a desire. It's something else that's a desire of, of your heart. So may the Lord, you know, bless you in regards to your generosity with, with something that is a, a desire of, of your heart. And he knows about every desire of, of your heart. So thank you so much for that again. Okay, so <clears throat> right into the word now. I'm going to give this to you the best of my memory discernment, but I'm pretty sure this is like three times I've encountered something in regards to warfare. And I really think it's in like the last seven days, at most probably the last 10 days. And you know, even probably from watching other channels, there's a lot going on with, with warfare. And I, I believe that in some cases, of course, every word isn't for everybody, but but the battle's so bad because of the, the breakthrough, the, the, the praise God that, that's gonna be so, so big so i've had three different encounters just i won't get into it all it would take too long but just negative stuff from the enemy that i'm dealing with and in three different cases including this morning then there's something that comes through from from the lord and and it's it's like a it's like a relief because it's like a feeling of of, of what's what's going on here sometimes and it actually reminded me uh, if i ever mentioned this joel steen's dad he's deceased but he wrote a book on spiritual warfare and wow what a book and he shared the, the stuff that, that that like really bad really bad in fact i remember when i read the book i thought wow this is a lot worse than what i'm dealing with praise god for his mercy and grace but but anyway some of you can relate to what i'm saying you know with with the warfare um but what i ended up hearing this morning and i really want this to help somebody today <clears throat> excuse me a after the negative stuff throughout the night it was like as far as i remember the words it was like go forward god wants you to go forward so as I really thought about this for several hours today, it, it's like I can almost picture in my mind craziness, chaos, like a, like a battlefield, a war zone. And in the midst of it all, you know, in, in the storm, so to speak, you know, God's with you and he's still, he's wanting us to go forward. And, you know, it, it's, it's kind of tough. It, it's just like staying focused. Like right now, I think about when Peter stepped out of the boat, if you watch how this is portrayed in some Bible movies that there could be something like a lightning bolt that struck. So he took his eyes off of Jesus and then he sunk. So just do your best to stay focused, focus on the Lord and, and try to take a step, even if it's a little thing in the direction of forward in terms of what God has called for you to do. And if you're not sure, you know, pray it and ask him, you know, I, because even me, I said this, okay, Lord, go forward. If there's something specific you want me to do to take that step, you know, let me know. But one thing's for sure, it was comforting uh, to hear this this morning. Um, Jesus, 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 is there, is there anything else? Um, okay, I'm just gonna end this with a prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, and, and, and we thank you that you're with us in, in the storm with the battle, you, you haven't left us alone like orphans. You, you're, you're just, you know, as if I could picture your face looking down. You see everything, you're aware of everything and, and nothing's gonna happen that's outside your, your will, you have us. You know, you, you wanted us to be active participants in this game of life, so yes, we certainly have to do our part. And, and, and you know, you didn't make us to be robots or, or puppets, you know, we have free will. 
and and we, you know we just want to thank you that you, that you're with us and we want to be obedient to to what what you want and what, what it's it's part of the blessing anyway of course we we want to go forward so i i just pray father in jesus name that you you help us to take that step even if you just have to clear a little path away from the the, the wickedness like a capture pathway almost the craziness but 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 you know that god created that way and that we know you will father in faith because you want us to go forward it's your will you said it so just even if it's one step at a time two or three steps here and there just guide us and help us to do that so that we're making progress in, in faith. And I said this to someone I was talking to earlier. <clears throat> I'm going to say, I, I know, and we know, that things will, will they, they will calm down. We'll get over that. You know, throughout life, there can be different, you know, different battles and different things, but it's not always going to be this way um, because it's time for, for God's people to get some victories and, and, and let the enemy just, just be squashed and stepped on uh, because, God, we know you're very serious about kingdom work. So just give us all the mercy we need, the, the grace we need, the, the wisdom, the insight, the discernment, everything we need, the strength just, just to, to go forward and speak to your people, speak to all of us about what, what we should do just to take that next step and stay close to us, Lord. Stay close to us all the time and, 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 and bless your people that, that have stayed with you and, and stayed faithful. Thank you so much for all the help that you give us, Father, that you're the all-knowing God. Your eye is always on us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, receive that and um, have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.